I've just heard the weatherman say it's going to get colder. Now, ten minutes ago, I was in front of a very warm fire, but I was still feeling cold. And I've just had to go outside to face these backlights. And it's cold. And the fact that the weatherman says it's going to get colder makes me want to cry. Right. I found these today, and I'm just hoping they're the ones. Uh, this is obviously part two of the video, by the way, where we now attempt to put this TV back together again. First of all, I've got to make sure that they match up. Right, that's an A, and that's an A. And they do match up. Let's just see if a B matches up. There are only A and B's in here, no C's. There's a B. Let's line it up against this B. I've got no idea why there's tape on these strips. They should have double-sided sticky tape on the back. In saying that, do note the uh, replacements haven't got any double-sided sticky tape on the back. Which reminds me, that means I've got to go looking for double-sided ticky tape. Now, once upon a time, I used to have three million rolls. But that was, once upon a time, I can't see any. My double-sided sticky tape all gone. No. I found some oddments. That'll get me out of the shh proverbial. Yeah, so this is part two. It's worth watching part one if you're interested in this sort of stuff. Or if you have a 50-inch Vestel Polaroid which has got failed backlights. Um, I think we had something like four Duff LEDs out of all of these. Right, so let me just take the newer ones out of the circuit for the moment. I don't know if you can see, but um, on all televisions, not just Vestel's, it is clearly marked which strips go where. You can't just swap A for B's and B's for A's or in some uh, ABCs, etc. Um, not for the electronic reasons, not for current reasons, that won't change a thing, even if some strips have got more backlights than others. But of course, for the reflector sheet, which has the holes pre-cut, so you've got to have them exactly the same. Um, put them back in the correct order, otherwise the LEDs won't poke through the holes. Anyway, I sounded like a school teacher telling somebody off then, because the leads won't poke through the holes. See me after class. Some people use a heat gun. Um, I tend to find they come off very easily. Take the tape off. I don't know why black electrical tape has been used to keep these in position. Don't thing you have to remember, if you are taking them off this way, just don't manhandle them. And when it comes to the final furlong, when it comes to this little bit here, this stretch, Sorry, you probably can't see very well. This is where you slow down and just be a bit careful. Because you don't want to um you don't want to yank out that and snap that. Otherwise then you have to get the soldering up out and all this does seem to be a bit bowed, very strange. But anyway, 
Um, sorry, as I was saying, so you have to put them back in the right order. Now, there's two ways you can do that. You can just replace a strip at a time. You'll notice I'm taking all the strips out. And it's not because I know where they go from memory, because I do loads every day. Dink. Right. Rubbish ones out. I say rubbish ones. There are, I think, four strips in there that um, work perfectly. But we need to, we do need to put a new set down. Um, yes, you, you may notice, and I don't know if it's going to come out on the video. Can you see it says B there? So, there look, B and A and B and B and A. And not just on Vestel, all, all television um, screens. will have the backlights listed. Right, okay, or the numbers, or the letters, or whatever it should be. Usually engraved in. So I am just going to put... Um, I'm just going to put a little bit of tape double-sided sticky tape to keep the strips in. Right, we'll do the first three. As we said yesterday when we were stripping this down. Seven strips in this. And I said yesterday there are six in a 42, and then I suddenly realised, no, it's not. It's five in a 42. So you do get extra backlights for a 50-inch. As you, well, I'm going to say as you'd expect, but it's not always the case. You will find some modern day televisions when i say modern day i mean ones that we the newer ones we get in for repair the 4k models they have fewer is that three no fewer leds on a 50 inch set than than this much much fewer right so this one's an a That's much better. And that's an A. And that's a B. So you can see what I'm doing here and how I'm trying to do it. More of the double-sided tape, please. Yes, I am cutting it with pliers. Why am I cutting it with pliers? Because the scissors are two metres behind me and I can't be bothered to go and find them.
marvellous. It's all coming together. I can hear the rain outside. It's nice and warm in here. I forgot on how nice and warm this um, little unit was. The big units I have now elsewhere can be a little bit nippy because they're in converted barns. Bing. And what's this one supposed to be? This one is supposed to be a bee. One of them. Now, obviously, I'm not just going to assemble the TV together without testing these first. Because even brand new backlights can develop a fault. I had a set the other week for an LG. And they still didn't work, or work correctly, actually, it was a Samsung. So I'd only still got half the screen working. Driving me crazy. I never once put it down to the fact that one of the brand new backlights could be faulty. And, well, it wasn't a lead as such, but there was a little, very tiny hairline crack in, um, in one of the tracks on the LED strip. Why is that not going in? So even brand new ones can have a, a slight fault. You're not always guaranteed for them to be perfect. Right, they're all in. And as I said before, the main reason why you have to put them all in in the correct order is so that this reflector sheet goes in correct first time. As long as I haven't got it upside down. And there you can see a beautiful job. They all match up. Sorry, I'm fiddling with my microphone a lot. I hope it's not making too much noise, but there we go. There's a little thing sticking in me. Um, right. I don't know about you and your memory, but of course I, I dis disassembled this set disassembled this set yesterday which now means I've got no idea where I've put things like the Vestel lead needed to power the darn thing when it should be right in front of me shouldn't it So we can now connect the LEDs back in. If you remember when I was doing all the testing, I took that out, but it's in now and it's fine. Um, we need to plug the mains back in. Let's plug it in and see what happens. Well, we're taking some current. I don't know how much, but we're taking... Well, I do know how much. We're taking nothing now. Okay. So let's turn the TV on by using the toggle switch on the main board. That should start to bring it on.
took its time, but they're on, as you can see. So, we know that works. Let's start to reassemble the TV. And for that, some of the screen supports are going to have to be glued back in. That's not a problem. I can't imagine this TV ever being dismantled again. Not after a new set of backlights, anyway. Right, the next thing to do is get it all together and then I'll plug it in. Now, you saw me take it to bits. Um, I'm sure you don't want me boring you with putting it back together again. So, I'm not going to bore you with putting it back together again. The TV is reassembled. No screws in the back yet. I just want to test the screen now. And see if everything's going to be okay. I have a remote control here. Note I'm using a Hitachi remote for a Polaroid TV. For those people that are not aware, Vestel TVs all except the same remote, because basically they're all the same TV, with a, a, a few differences. Of course, if you work for Vestel, you'll be saying, actually, I think you'll find there's a few million differences. Yes, but the TV remotes still operate each other. Um, so we've got the blue light back on blue light on this particular model means we're on standby and at the moment we're drawing in amps absolutely nothing on standby but we'll switch the machine on you'll notice the amps are jumping up not a terrible amount but they may jump up more when the picture comes on we have backlights yeah. and we do have some sort of picture. Yeah. And we're taking 242 milliamps. Just under 56 watts altogether. Um, I will feed it a HDMI source. I think on HDMI 2, I'm not too sure. That's my nice HDMI lead that I... Now, to do the HDMI, I'm going to stand it up. I will move the camera angles. A 
otherwise you break the HDMI lead. So there it is. We have sound and we have picture. Treat the screen to a bit of a... Also, those people that keep... I, I keep forgetting to mention that that's the... Um, oh, I hope you can see it. Yes, I think you can. Just. That's the stuff that I use to... Um, clean the glass with it's not cheap it smells absolutely amazing to me i mean to be honest with you this can of spray costs more than my, my deodorant and i know what you're thinking well yes i am <laughs> i don't think it'll be very good for the skin to be honest with you spray this under your arms and in other places and you'll soon know about it it's probably got a warning somewhere don't spray on balls yeah at the bottom there look don't spray on balls there it is. Mm. anyway the tv is back to its best i'll stick it on its stand but there's no need for you to see that so that's the replacement of a 50 inch uh, chassis for a Vestel. A lot of these chassis are similar. Um, I do have a Vestel chassis waiting for backlights at the other unit, but that's edge lit, and I must, 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 must get round to replacing those. That will make a good video doing an edge lit one. Must find out what screen it's got in. Was it an edge? Was it a Vestel? Or was it a UMC? Do 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 do. It's a Vestel, I'm sure. Um, but anyway. That's another video for another time and another place. Um, but thank you very much for watching. Any questions, uh, feel free to ask away. Uh, sometimes I can respond straight away. Sometimes I need a couple of days to figure out answers to questions. But we'll be doing um, a few more whenever we can. <laughs>